The Red Cross is on the ground in Florida, helping anyone in need, no matter what that need is. Sherry McKinney of the Red Cross joins us now live from Florida. Sherry, where are you and what are Red Cross workers doing right now? Well, I'm here at the headquarters in Orlando, Florida. This is where we set up our operation headquarters pre-landfall. We're getting ready to move in the coming days closer to more of the significant damage that we're seeing here in Florida. But it has certainly been a wild ride since we got here on Sunday, that's for sure. I'm sure, Sherry, we're encouraging our viewers to join us in a day of giving, starting with a $10 donation to the Red Cross. What difference can $10 make in providing help for people in need down there? You know, people would not think that $10 would make a significant difference, but that can mean the difference between a cot to sleep in, food for eating and keeping yourself nourished, water to supply, because there's these places have no water, too. We need to stress that. The water is unsafe to drink, and it can make the difference for so many things. It goes on down the list. We are here as the bridge of recovery for people to get them to the interstate of long recovery with our partners. We're here for those immediate needs and that $10 goes pretty far. Sherry, some may wonder, some outside of those communities may wonder why people didn't just leave. A lot mm -hmm. of people cannot leave in a situation like this. What are you hearing? You know, for, for some people, they are afraid to leave their homes. We have we are seeing some of these areas are very significantly made up of senior citizens who don't want to leave their homes. We understand that. But if there's one thing we can learn from this storm, it's when the local and emergency officials tell you to evacuate, you do so mm. and you don't double think it. Um, we are currently, we are trying to connect people through a reunification process. Today alone, we had 60 people call in so far with emergency reunification. And we have had several successful stories, one of which was a uh, realtor who had sold a home to someone, was able to find that person for their family and reconnect them through our efforts. I also heard about a story about an 84 year old man who came to the evacuation shelter. He had never evacuated for a hurricane. He has lived through all sorts of Florida hurricanes. And he said, but this one felt different. Wow. And he wanted to come somewhere where he knew he would be safe. So he showed up at the Red Cross evacuation shelter. So there are stories like that. And unfortunately, there are going to be a whole lot of very sad stories also here in Florida. Mm -hmm. But we're thankful that we're here to make a difference. We are too. Sherry McKinney with the Red Cross. Thank you. Uh, be safe down there in Florida. As we mentioned, we teamed up with the Red Cross for this day of giving as Florida starts to assess the destruction from Hurricane Ian. Here is how you can help right now. Make that $10 donation by texting Ian to the number 90999. You can scan that QR code you see in the corner of your screen, or you can donate by heading directly to cbsnews.com slash Red Cross.